So you want to add fruit to your meaty diet. Oh, that is a mistake. I've been experimenting with small amounts, apples, strawberries, a little bit of juice. I've noticed some things, some positive things and negative. And let's just talk a little fruity meat life. He's walking somewhere. Okay, let's try not to die. We all know I die of a diet-related malady. So, fruit and meat. I'm actually going shopping right now for potentially both. I do need both. I'm not running this red light. I'm slowly gliding. It's the speed that indicates whether or not you ran a red light. If you walk a red light, you're good to go. So, here's what I've noticed adding a little bit of fruit and some juice and little side rant. I don't know why I thought prune juice would be a fun addition to the diet, but let me tell you it was not. Oh boy. I was hoping it would just flush the gates in a fun, friendly, non-fibrous manner. So far, it has not flushed anything out, and I've only experienced bloating, and it wasn't even that tasty. So that was a mistake. But the apples, strawberries, here's what I've noticed. My energy is actually quite a bit higher. I just feel happier lately. It's just a mood boost and an energy boost, definitely. But like at the expense of my brain not functioning quite as good as it was, I feel like I get the odd bit of brain fog just from that like one apple. I'm kicked out of ketosis, so I don't have the magic mind-burning powers, but I do have more energy because of that. I just suck at burning fat for some reason. Like, my energy's good on carnivore, but it's... Now that I eat sugar, I always notice it. It's like, oh yeah, that is actually much higher energy. So it's like, ah man, that's the conundrum. When it comes to the gut, I do feel that apple from yesterday. It's in there. I can feel the fiber. And it's not as good as carnivore. But, like, I get the odd cramp here and there. I still have not discovered what the heck is going. Like, how do you once and for all heal the colon to where you never feel it again? My colon is just so sensitive. I was reading through my mom's baby book. And she had me on pablum at some point. I was getting like bronchitis as a young child and I don't know I've been through the ringer man I have been through it so I'm trying to heal the gut so I don't know I don't feel like fruit is helping heal the gut that's for damn sure but it is tasty and fun it could be detoxifying and giving me a small amount of vitamin C don't mind that and I am gonna go is that place closed how is this possible what day is it? Oh god, it's Easter. This whole trip is a lie. I just realized it's Easter. It's Good Friday and everything is closed and I have no reason to exist out here. I had so many plans. I was going to go get fatty fruit. That was going to be our next debate. Like if you want fruit and meat, have avocados and olives and cucumbers, stuff like that. Don't go for the sugary ones. That's a lie. And then I was gonna get meat, and then we we're gonna talk about like, oh, grass-fed. It's not really grass-fed, is it? Unless it's 100% grass-fed and finished, and is that, does it even matter? I think organic meat is more important than being grass-fed, as long as it's not non, as long as it's not GMO, you're good to go, I think. I can't do any of this now. Oh, God. Usually it's the Asian stores like this that are open on the holidays. The Asians, they ignore our holidays. They come and they take over our country and they continue to work and they give us food on the days that we need it. But you're not doing it now. Oh, our Chinese communist friends from Fruit China have effed us once again. But when it comes to like fruit on your carnivore diet, I've also noticed that I'm a little more excited to eat now and I'm thinking a bit more about food and like all the different things I could have and different juices. It's just like you're a bit more obsessed because you got a taste of sugar and now you're all excited to eat. Whereas on carnivore, 
I'm just never hungry. But it really does open up a lot of options when you allow yourself fruit and a bit of sugar. So like I have some water kefir at home. I got like a sparkly apple juice. That's going to be fun. I might mix that with the rest of my prune juice. Flood the gates once and for all. And some fun times, little combos, little fruit here. I think fruit juice is the smarter thing if you're carnivore. You're used to no fiber, that's why you feel good. I would just stick there. I'm a pedestrian. That's a walking signal, that's me. That's all me. So it's like fruit juice, I was gonna like start doing watermelon juice and all that. I think that's the better thing than just eating the fiber for now. Because your gut microbes, they feed on the fiber more than the juice. So any symptom you get from eating fruit, you're probably not going to get it from drinking fruit juice. It's the better thing. This feels legal in some countries. Alright, let's go to the next store that's definitely not open. Why would it be? Easter. You know holidays. The only thing they ever do for me is close the grocery store. That's all I can ever think of. I never do anything on any of the holidays except go shopping and realize the store is closed and then just feel the disappointment and rage in my heart. Notice how there's no cars here. I wonder if it's because it's closed. You better be open and nobody knows about it. Oh. See, this is where they have grass-fed beef and it's not real it is not that one door is open let me in oh it wants to open so in here they have halal beef it's grass-fed it's very cheap it's like 750 canadian a pound and it's like holy shit like i can really save a lot of money but it just says grass-fed on it it's probably just factory farmed meat that was fed some grass it's not much. Not that I can access it. So I am leaning towards getting 100% grass-fed. And it's twice the price. That's annoying. A couple of videos ago, I threw out the potential that I was going to do like a fruit and fish diet. Almost pescatarian, vegetarian type of thing. And lean away from the meats. I just, I don't see that it's even possible for one, salmon, all fish is very expensive and full of mercury. And if you get the tinned salmon, it's cheaper, but it's so just boring and bland. I don't know that I could do that. Like every day having, because I was trying to calculate if I want my current amount of protein, one gram per pound, how many cans of salmon would that be? It's like three minimum. And those are the cans that weigh 213 grams. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know that that's going to work. It just doesn't taste very good, and I don't know how to prepare it. You could do, like, mayonnaise in there. Do a salmon salad. But, hot damn, that is not going to be fun. That diet fruit and fish, I already hate it. I'll get you. <laughs> and I worry about potential calcium overload, eating so many bones. <laughs> from that tin salmon. Oh, I bought so many cans. I have at least like 50 cans. I'm prepped for the apocalypse. But I just, I feel like that's just gonna be a small addition to my diet. One can every other day or something like that. I don't think we can go fruit and fish, but whatever. I can't believe it's Easter. My fiance wanted me to get her some food. She is screwed <laughs> tonight. What's she gonna eat? Oh my God, there's no food anywhere. I'm gonna go see if Fresh From The Farm is open. I doubt it, but that's where you get the best quality meats in Toronto. That's where I get my grass-fed beef suet. It's just, it's gonna be twice the price, and that's gonna hurt, but you know it doesn't hurt? Fruit. You know, on paper, wow, that's what, what wow, that could have went bad. On paper, fruit and meat makes way more sense than carnivore. It just, it's so natural feeling. I know fruits aren't in season very often, but in the summertime, obviously humans are attracted to fruit. It makes more sense, but in practice, you might notice that you just feel worse on fruit. You might have some brain fog and 
whatever symptoms that you have from sugar, you're gonna experience on fruit, most likely. So it's like, it's not good. <laughs> it sounds good on paper, like, oh, a balanced diet, that's way better. Is it though? Is it in reality? No. When I get home, my plan is to have some prune juice with this new apple sparkly water. I'm gonna test it first and see if that's a good combo. If not, I'll drink like one after the other. I'm not gonna have an apple today. No thank you, Mr. Fiber. And then I'm gonna wait a little bit and I roasted a lamb leg last night. So I'm gonna have the leftovers of that boiled with the lamb broth, which is super gelatinous gut healing broth. Oh boy, oh, we are cutting right in there. And all this like beef suet that I've made. So it's just like maybe some cans of salmon in there, boom, and that's my dinner. And it's pretty good, still doing one meal a day, still loving that, even though it's maybe stretched a little longer because I eat the fruit first and have to wait a bit. I'm not a fan of eating fruit with meat. Uh, it just sounds like the dumbest combo. I tell you, I was gonna walk and do this video today, and at the last minute I was like, I'm just gonna scoot because I might come out here. That would have really sucked if I walked all the way down and it was closed. Whereas now it's just like, all right, it's closed, whatever. We're going for a ride. It's still fun. Still having fun here, but... Oh, oh that does not look open. That does not look, oh, it does look open. Oh my God. We might luck out here. We are getting lucky today. Unless they just left the sign on. Fresh from the farm. Open today. There's people in there. Wow. We're gonna get food and my fiance gets food. Wow. All right, let's see what they got. Hello. Yeah, usually I only come here for specific things because it's a little pricey. So it's fourteen twenty-nine a pound instead of seven fifty, but hundred percent grass-fed. It is our only option. Man, those ribeye steaks are 29 bucks a pound. Dare I dream this. Vegan strawberry coconut. There's no sugar. Oh, tapioca syrup. <laughs> wow, that's how, oh, and palm sugar. Coconut palm sugar, wow. So like lots of sugar. Oh man, the wife will like it. I'll taste it. I'll do more than taste it. I'll eat it large amounts of it. Organic Mineola Orange. Fruit and meat confirmed. I also got an organic avocado. It was $40. That's good times. Well, I was not expecting to get vegan ice cream today, but whatever. If I complain about future acne, you know where that came from. And that was a pretty successful little grocery run. I thought we were done for Easter. It's upon us, but there we have that. So fruit and meat, fruit in very small amounts. And we'll see. I might be heading back to full carnivore soon. We'll see how the brain fog goes. But if it continues, I do not need this in my life. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. And thumbing it up, of course. Thumbs up. You could thumb it down. If you're buying this house, it's about uh, two million dollars and it's not sold to white people. So that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to leave now. What do you think? Fruit and meat or just meat? or some other crazy balanced fad diet. Oh, you're sick of me. I'll leave. How you doing? Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.